Hello, and welcome to my first Minecraft Redstone tutorial. Um, today I'm just going to show you the complete basics of how to use Redstone, which you may or may not know about. Either way, this is aimed at complete noobs, so I'll just explain what it is. It's sort of like wiring. Um, uh, in some ways it's kind of realistic in terms of electronics. You can make uh, circuits. Uh, some people can even make computers and very advanced machines with calculate uh, very powerful calculators. Um, either way, that's beyond that's off the topic. Uh, the point is today I'm going to show you some very basic things you can do with it, um, as well as some um, uh, very low-level intermediate stuff that can help you a lot later on in the higher levels of redstone. All right, so the first thing I'm going to show you is the redstone, which will probably look a bit different in the default texture pack. Um, it's kind of like a pile of dust. Um, you get this by breaking redstone ore. Anyway, this is a redstone wire, but it is unpowered, so it won't do anything at the moment. Um, now, here I've got a redstone torch, which powers wire. I've laid it down next to this wire, and as you can see, it's a lot brighter red, and there's some uh, smoky particle stuff flying off it. Uh, so that's the difference between powered and unpowered redstone. Um, one of the problems with powering redstone like this is that it runs out. See over here, the particles have stopped and there's no current. So the way we can fix this is by putting in what's called a redstone repeater, which basically just extends the current. Um, and you can do that every 15 blocks and extend it indefinitely. Uh, a drawback of that is the uh, it can slow down the current by a tiny amount, like a tenth of a second or something, but it really does stack up in uh, bigger structures or machines. So that's the difference between powered and unpowered redstone. Uh, now I'd like to show you uh, the lever, which is pretty much the same as the um, torch, only it's more efficient, because uh, you can control it and toggle it on and off. Uh, Sorry about fear of coughing in the background, that's just my brother. Uh, anyway, so, the lever is there, and you see what it does. Now I'd like to show you another use for the torch. Uh, so we'll lay down the lever, and get some wire down this way, and uh, the torch is pretty much useless for, uh, you know, just powering stuff, because the lever is infinitely more effective, and easier to get materials for. So this is what the torch does. It can invert power. So when you power the block that the torch is attached to, you can't just power the torch because it will just power the wire and nothing happens to the torch. Um, yeah, if you power the block that the torch is attached to, it will invert the current. <clears throat> so we'll link the torch out here and you see the end is different to the start. Uh, now this can be used in bigger machines by say having another wire out here and then you can toggle them like that uh, by changing the switch. Next, I'd like to show you uh, a different type of redstone repeater. Now, this is what they used before you had um, items for repeaters. Uh, this is actually a construction out of redstone wires and stuff. Um, and it's similar to the inverter, except it inverts it twice. So I'll stick that out, build that, and that. And what you do is you place a torch there which the current then turns off. <clears throat> you stick a wire there and place another torch there. We'll just link that up to there so you can see what it, what's on it. Now here, if that's on, that's on, and that's off, that powers that, then powers that, turns it off and makes the output off. So that's all pretty simple. Next, uh, unless I've forgotten something, we will move on to the next stage of redstone, uh, which you could say is the start of more complex stuff. Um, so it's a clock which basically emits a redstone pulse every however long depending on your clock now there are two different types of clock um, but the one I'll show you now is the uh, torch one so what you want to do is lay out an odd number of blocks um, kind of near each other in a sort of regular pattern like this uh, it doesn't have to be regular but it's, I always do it regular so what we're going to do here is as I said, it has to be odd, and you'll see why in a second. Next, you want to link up the uh, torches from each of them, facing towards the next one, and they have to be at least two blocks apart. 
um, and we'll do it like this. Now you link up wires between them to, to power the block the other torch is on. That up to there. Um, and then uh, it has to be an odd number because then uh, this torch here then uh, turns that one off, turns that one on, that one off, and then it cycles around because it's an odd number. Uh, and then you can link that up to the next thing I'm going to show you uh, with redstone torches, which is that they're a great way to transport uh, redstone currents vertically. Um, so say you need to transport something upwards, but don't have enough space to build like a stairway, which is what you'd normally have to do to, um, to get the current up. Um, with this, you could pretty easily uh, just send it straight upwards uh, with that kind of setup. You don't have to have an extra thing branching out, but I'm just doing that so we can see what it looks like. Um, okay, so like this, uh, you can just do it with a lever. It'll send up there through the torches, because that'll power that, which will then power that off, uh, on, and that. Um, uh, probably got a bit confused there, but I'm sure you get the gist. Um, right, we'll now link this up to my clock. And thanks to my clock, the um, torch on the end, or rather all of them, is flickering on and off. Uh, now that's pretty much the end of my tutorial. Uh, that's pretty much the end of my tutorial. Most of the time seems to be gone by the position of the sun, so uh, I'll just end by showing you a different type of clock, which is with repeaters. Um, now the way you do this is by linking up the repeaters, and like I said, they have a slight delay on them. Uh, so you can use that, just like the delay with the torches, which I may or may not have mentioned, uh, which what makes the clock work. And we just move that there. And with this system, uh, this is kind of hard to get going, but it's not that bad. Put a lever next to one of them and flick it really quickly. Or a bit longer than that, apparently. Hmm. Ah, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, they have to link into the back, which I forgot about. There you go. So now that goes around pretty quickly. Uh, but yeah, that's a bit fast, uh, and you might not want it like that. So, a way to get around that is by the second use for the repeaters. If you right-click them, you see that little stick with the other red thing on the back uh, moves down the repeater, and that helps you because um, it slows them down a lot. So now if I put my lever there, I'll just leave it on for a little bit, and now it moves around really slowly, and this gives you a lot more control because you can adjust them and as you go. Uh, whereas with the redstone uh, torch clock, you just have to hope for the best and otherwise rebuild the whole thing. Uh, and on that note, uh, just practice what you've learnt. I'll upload a new video probably in a few days. Thank you very much and goodbye.